Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Fun. Running straight into a very short 7 days of science today, an exoplanet has been found around Bernard's star, a star relatively close to us, only 6 light years away. Well I say only, that's a hell of a long way away, but in cosmic terms that's tiny. This new exoplanet has been named Bernard's star B, and is over 3 times bigger than Earth, making it a super Earth. This new discovery makes its system a prime target for the search for life, which is always exciting. Considering how close it is, if all goes well, humans will probably visit it one day. Isn't that amazing? We've just discovered a planet that future humans could go to. No? Just, just me? Okay, moving on. A fascinating study to do with the orangutans was published this week in Nature, in which the animals were tested on their ability to innovate tools, with surprising results. The test involves a vertical tube with a reward basket at the bottom and a piece of wire. To retrieve the basket, the wire must be bent into a hook. When human children were tested, it was actually more challenging for them than expected, with 3-5 to five year olds rarely managing it, and less than half of 7 year olds being successful. However, orangutans were surprisingly good at it, with several of those tested mastering the hook construction and two individuals solving the problem within 5 minutes. And in paleontology news this week, the description of a new species and genus of Enantiornithine from the late Cretaceous of Utah has been published. Enantiornithines are an ancient bird group that became completely extinct at the end of the Mesozoic, while modern bird ancestors managed to survive, but the reasons for their extinction is a bit of a mystery. This new animal, named Mirasi Iatoni, adds to the mystery, since it has a relatively large body size, large flight muscles, and quill knobs where the feathers would have been attached, indicating it was a very capable flyer. So, if this other bird group was just as good at flying as the modern group, why did they die out? Some suggestions have been made, but more research is needed to properly figure this out. Ancient DNA from a strange, extinct monkey named Xenothrix that inhabited Jamaica has been examined, revealing its true relationships to other primates. This animal had very unusual physical characteristics, such as only a few teeth and limbs that resembled a rodent's making it unclear as to what it might be related to. This new DNA analysis, however, has shown Xenothrix to be most closely related to the living Titi monkeys in South America. Therefore, the ancestors of this species must have rafted over from the continent onto Jamaica, and subsequently evolved in a very unique way to the new island habitat. It also indicates that monkeys colonised the islands in the Caribbean more than once. That's it for this week's episode of 7 Days of Science. If you want to and haven't already, feel free to subscribe to learn more about the wonderful life around you. And if you do or have already, we'll see you on Sunday.